Hey everybody, here I'm back here at the sawmill. Um, done a good bit more work to it since the last video. Still not done all the way, but just kind of show you what I've done so far. Um, done a little bit more work on the carriage. I added some of these uh, supports right here to my roller wheels just to give it a little extra bracing. Um, I actually, as you see, I got eight of these going down the side. These are just, you know, v groove roller wheels, you know, I bought off the internet. Um, I put some uh, log clamps on here. They, uh, this side will slide up and down and pivot. That side just pivots up and down. Um, I've got the little screws right here where I can dog and log onto it. This is just a piece of a power pole that I was uh, playing around with milling. Um, it does pretty good. Uh, got a little bit of tweaking to do. I need to work on my blade guides just a little bit. Um, the motor seems to run well. All the RPMs seem to hold up. The motor seems to have plenty of power. Um, I have uh, put my threader rods in on each side, as you see right here. And then I got one on the other side. It goes up to the top, all the way down. I got a, um, it, uh, it's got a nut right here, well, to the top of the, on both sides. And a chain connected across the top where they move at the same time. Um, for right now, it just I mainly crank it up and down. I do eventually want to put a uh, hydraulic feed on this. Probably put it somewhere right here at the bottom, a hydraulic motor. And then I also want to uh, have a hydraulic motor to move my carriage up and down. Um, but I got some parts for that, but that'll probably come in the next video. Um, like I said, I, I think I'm going to end up putting a bottom roller on my blade guide here. It, uh when i dig in deep the blade uh wants to walk down a little bit so i'll put a bottom roller right there to uh help with that and also once i get a you know a consistent feed with the power feed i think it's going to help with that too but um the end up the blade accidentally came off i didn't have it tight and uh it bent some teeth on it so that's also probably contributing to how bad it was diving towards the end but um as you see here though, like I said, it's made some progress. I got uh, the track completely welded on here. I just got a little rope right here to temporarily pull it back and forth for me. But um, like I said, I'm eventually gonna put a uh, roller chain all the way down it and um, have a uh, hydraulic drive motor that pulls the carriage as well. Just, just a little, another view right here of threaded rod and it goes up, connects across the top. Got the uh, electric start on my motor hooked up and uh, don't know if I explained this really well the last time, but this is how I engage it. And obviously it's loose right now where the motor can start. And then once I start it, that just cams over like that and tightens the belt. Seems to work pretty good. It's kind of simple. This is just a little weight hanging on the end to keep it slack. Well, that's about all I've done for right now. And um, I will uh, show y'all a little video of the uh, mower I got and some of the hydraulic motors I'm gonna put it on for parts and some of the boards I oh, cut. These are some of the boards I cut out of that one piece of power pole here. As you see, before I ended up bending the blade, um, I actually made a pretty good cut. You know, it's um, not perfect, but definitely usable. That's about a 16 inch wide slab. And then after I bent the teeth on the blade, you see how jagged and how rough of a cut it is. It uh, looks pretty bad. But I mean, this is something I can live with for, um, the stuff I'm gonna be doing, but uh, I hope to get it dialed in a little better of time and we'll see how it goes from there. This is the motor um, and the mower I got. So I picked it up for um, somebody that told me if I got it out of their yard, I could have it. And um, figure it's got some parts on it. They're pretty decent. I've got these uh, dry motors, one on every wheel that I'm gonna use for my uh, power feed up and down and the power feed in my carriage um, back and forth. I said, uh, I know it's got a, some, a nightmare of some hydraulic plumbing I'm gonna have to work out, but nothing we can't handle. And um, it's also, uh, I just happened to throw some uh, fuel to it on a little temporary filter and um, hooked a battery to it and a little three cylinder Kubota diesel happened to start right up, runs great. So I um, kind of wish I would have known about that before I bought the motor off of Amazon. This would have been a great little motor to put on it. And uh, But oh well, I'm sure I could find another project for this uh, in the future. It's also got a dry motor on every single one of these three cutters. And um, it's got uh, cylinders to pick the cutters up and down and a 
cylinders that still steered the rear end but um so get all this work down i think we have some good parts out of here